We'll guide you through how to enter safe mode in Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So firstly, just come onto your computer and what you need to do is come down to the bottom and go and press on the Windows Start button. Then go over to the right to the power button and click on it. And then we've got these different options here. Then go and hold the shift button on your keyboard and go and press on restart like this. This is gonna go and put your computer into recovery mode. And from recovery mode, we can then go into safe mode. So just wait for your computer to restart and I'll show you what you need to do next. When your computer is then restarting, it may say something like, please wait. And then it should boot into this screen here. Then what you want to do is go and click on troubleshoot like this. Then from troubleshoot, go and click on advanced options. We've got the option for startup settings, so we can click there. And in here is quite small, but it gives a list of things we can do, one of them being enable safe mode. So then we can go and press on restart like this, and our computer will restart, and I'll show you what to do next. It's now restarted into the startup settings, and it says press a number to choose from the options below, use number keys or function keys. So number four is safe mode, so I'll just press on the four key or F4 on my keyboard, and once again, it's now going to restart into safe mode. And here we are, it's now restarted into safe mode, so let me go and log in like this, and this is it. This is safe mode. So safe mode is like a basic version of Windows. When your computer isn't working, you can come in here to go and change your settings. And as you can see, it says safe mode in the bottom right. And to get out of safe mode, once you've made those changes, all you need to do is go and press on the start button at the bottom, and then go and press on the power button, and then just go and restart your system. My computer is now restarted and I'm just logging in. And as you can see, it's back to normal. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.